For 37 years, Bob Heth has worked six days a week, and it's been this way since he took over his parents' business, Heth's Hardware Store. News 19's Marcus Arsvold learns what the La Crescent business owner's retirement plan is and why the small town store is so important to the community. Bob Heth isn't your average business owner. Many say he goes above and beyond to meet his customers' needs. If there's a big snowstorm, he sleeps at his store to make sure he can stay open. Now, Bob doesn't think this is a big deal either. To him, it's just the way it should be. If you work for Bob Heth, you're family. I think about how many kids we've trained, given them their first jobs, and many of them come back just to say hi. Heth's hardware store has been around since 1960, and even after Bob took it over, the goal has remained the same. Helping people, that's what we do, because so many times I need a whatchamacallit or a thingamajig, and the good thing is, I usually know what they need just from that description. The small town hardware store is different than big box stores where you have to buy in bulk. At Heth's, you can also just rent a power tool for your weekend project. It's efficient for the community to be able to go and buy one and two of an item instead of having to buy a whole package. Mayor Pellinger says the store anchors the downtown area. It's so important for people to be able to stop on Walnut Street and they can go into the local liquor store, they can go to the hardware store, and they can go to the grocery store and never move their car. And that's unusual uh, in, in this day and age. Now that it's for sale, the community is wondering what's next. We hope to hear something positive that, that it is going to stay open and that it's operated by a, a family so that they have those small town values uh, that we all appreciate. And while Bob is known for having a great work ethic, he hopes to cut back on the long hours. Well, I have great pride for what, what's been accomplished here. You know, I'm approaching 70, so my thoughts is how much longer can I do this? Hopefully for a while yet, but my children are not interested in in purchasing the store and continuing the family tradition. For now, he's holding on. A lot of great memories. And holding future plans close to the chest. I'm ready to retire. As you can see, Hardware Hank got younger mm -hmm. as we got older. But I'll let you know when it's closer. He'd love for his grandchildren to take over the business, but he's not sure if he can wait that long. In the meantime, Bob has other interests, like building model trains. But one of his biggest dreams is to build an old-fashioned wooden boat from supplies in the store. And it's something he and his grandfather planned to do, but never had time. And luckily for Bob, he knows exactly where to find all of the whatchamacallits in stock. All right, thank you, Marcus. And then whenever retirement hits, hopefully Bob's boat will be ready to fish with his grandkids.